Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. So we pick up here in Act 3 of the game. We are very close to the end. We're about to pick up on probably, if it's not the final mission, then it is probably second or third to the final mission. I've already got the cutscene rolling, so let's do this. How are the others? Ready to follow wherever you lead. The sensei told them you're the only person on Tsushima who can kill the Khan. I can't do it alone. Or without a plan of attack. We know he's at Port Izmi, surrounded by an army. We need to know the weakness in their defense. How to get past them. And where to find the Khan. Sounds like we need a hawk's view of the place. I know where we can get one. We'll have cover of darkness if we leave now. Alright, let's do it. So we are setting the groundwork to invade the base that the Khan is at right now. Port Izumi. Port Izmi. Izmi, sorry. <laughs> we'll have a better view from the lighthouse. Just need to get up there. Without being noticed. Let's move. Better view from the lighthouse. Okay, I see it. Bottom right there. Do not raise the alarm, Why God. The come up here? He'll sail for our main. I hate these stealth missions. Thanks. Just I like it here. This is our last chance to stop him. These flowers. The same ones I used to make my poison. The Mongols have been here picking them. To use against us. Did we do the right thing at your uncle's castle? I took a risk, and my poison saved thousands. What if it kills thousands more? We have to stop the Khan before it comes to that. You're right. How am I gonna get through here? We can't get in the front. That's for sure. Climb around the cliff. Here we go. Right here. So I'm going along there. This guy's blind, huh? <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there is. Is this guy looking in my direction or looking away from me? I can't tell. He's looking away from me. Alright. Sneak right up on him. He's not gonna even know we're here. And you're dead. Oh. It would be nice if there were ragdoll physics in this game so we would have fallen off the cliff there. That would have been pretty sweet. Moon, pretty sweet. All right, some enemies scattered about here. Take this guy. You're done. Oh, there's a couple of them right there. Oh, there's a guy over there too. Done. I'm gonna take this. Oh. Where do you think you're going? I don't think so. Double stealth kill. J Bone likes that. What do we got? Supplies. Right, we got a guy right here. Leave those guys be. Oh shit. Shit. That was really close. It just kind of came out of nowhere. He can't see me. Stay low. Stay low. Around the back. Got right there. Can we squeeze through? Yes. 
Yes. What did I do? I examined something. What's in all these barrels? Is it poison? Flowers. Poison. Poison. Mm-hmm. One barrel holds enough to kill hundreds. Khan will use this against the mainland. We can't let him leave Tsushima. We'll scout Port Izumi from the top of the lighthouse. Right behind you. Some supplies over here. Pick those up. I really don't need any more supplies or any more upgrades or get really get out of the way. Really, really. What kind of game-breaking glitch is this? Stupid bitch. All right. Yeah, I don't need any more upgrades. I don't need any more supplies. My blades are fully upgraded. My armor is fully upgraded. So. We're just game on. I've pretty much done every side mission in Act 3 as well. Most of them anyway, off of camera. Because this is, you know how open world games are. They're so large, they're so expansive, there's so much to do. I can't literally record all of it because I'd have like lit literally like 80 Let's Plays for Ghost of Tsushima. So I've been doing some of those side quests on the side or off the of camera. They're flat. The kind you see before us really, all that's left is to kill the Khan. It can work to our advantage. Now, I'll leave the lighthouse dark. Make sure the Mongols can't use it. This has been a hits. very good game, though. We can relight it once they're gone. Let's get a look at the port. Little nitpicky things here and there, but by and large, it's been a great Let's game. Let's find our plan of attack. That bridge has an open sight line to the Mongol fleet. Imagine what we could do to their ships if we had our own watchers. The Mongols left that area empty. Too open. Can't defend it. But a good place for an ambush. We could place archers there. Force the Mongols to fight uphill? Ah, Cotton would send horsemen to outflank us. See how the birds are circling? Like they're scared of something on its way. The storm. Preparing to fly inland for shelter. Another storm? We just had one. <laughs> the harbor master's estate. The Khan may have taken it for himself. Close to the docks. And his fleet. Makes sense. I said we attack head on. Fuck this. I'll do it. Khan is almost ready to sail for our mainland. With ships full of men, explosives, and my poison. If we don't stop him here, the Shogunate will fall. The storm is our key to beating him. When it comes, the Khan will have to shelter his fleet in the bay. That's when we strike. Destroy his ships and everything on them. To do this, we'll need Mongol weapons. A simple task for a master thief. We'll need fighters, too. A small force could distract the Mongols while I get inside Port Izmi. Kill the Khan. It could work. Let's get back to Jokaku and prepare. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> a gathering storm. So that was merely a sightseeing mission. We didn't really kill anyone. A couple of stealth kills here and there, but... Journal updated. Let's see what we got. We're gonna want to go right back here. Heart of the Jito. When the next storm hits, we attack Kotu Khan. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. I don't need more gifts. I don't need any more supplies. I don't need any of this shit. I just need to murder. This is a good game, but by... I mean, by Jesus, I've spent enough time playing this game. I don't need to be doing any more side missions, any more resource gathering. It's time. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Here it is, right here. I've got some good news. Good. Oh, the plan's coming. Kenji found where we can steal watches from the Mongols. I'm heading there now. That's a good start. But we need more fighters. No. My uncle wants the Khan dead as much as we do. He'll join our attack. He'll throw you in prison. I'll write him a message. Got a soft spot for his uncle. <laughs> in a castle full of samurai. I'll be gone before they know I was there. Playing with fire, Jin. 
Your uncle, he is stubborn, that bastard. There. Let's hope my uncle reads it. I'm not letting you leave without a good horse. All right. What are you trying to say? Try the horse I've had lost. lately. Hmm? I give one of these a chance. I will admit that horse that I've had lately as a replacement for Kagi has sucked. It looks emaciated. <laughs> All right. What do we got? This one's nice. It's pretty nice. I like the white horse. Let's do that one. Yes. Uh, easy there. It's all right. I'm a friend. What will you name this one? Kaze Sora Nubu. Trust. Let's no, go Nubu. A trusty companion. I mean, yes. I mean, how much more? It, it says I'm going to be stuck with this hurt with this horse. For the rest of the journey. How much more journey is there? I've been playing this game for like 50 hours. We're on the last mission. Let's Good not worry choice. about it, alright? How will you get inside your uncle's castle? I grew up there. And I still remember every hidden path through those old walls. Even as a boy, Lord Shimura couldn't keep up with me. Ha <laughs> Wow. Shots fired, huh? I gotta go all the way south. Are you kidding me? I could fast travel. I could fast travel. I think, yeah, I think we're gonna fast travel. We, we just can't. That's gonna take forever to run through there. <clears throat> right there, okay. Am I gonna be able to get in? Please tell me these doors open. No, they don't. Okay, awesome. Fast travel right here. Let's fast travel here. On the other side of the base wall. Fast traveling is really nice and literally fast in this game. There are no long loading sequences, which I really appreciate. Fast travel is supposed to be just that, right? Fast travel. I mean, it does help that I have an SSD, a Samsung Evo, installed in my PlayStation 4 Pro. So, uh, yeah. I don't know how much slower it would be if I had the base hard drive in here. I imagine it would be several seconds slower, but... Okay, where am I going? Alright, I'm going the right way now. Faster, no! This horse is way beefier than that one I had just prior. Way beefier. Thoroughbred. We're here. We've done it. What's the GP? Jin! Flashback. Why did you run away? I... wanted to catch an eel for your dinner. <laughs> Were you planning to catch it with your bare hands? <laughs> Yuzo said you'd get rid of me as soon as you had a son of your own. Jin, come here. Your friend is wrong. A path ahead may take a lifetime. But I will walk it with you. Always. Well, <clears throat> we'll see. I sent him a letter. We'll see how receptive he is. I imagine he'll come to his senses. Maybe. I still think that he's probably going to die in front of Jin, or Jin's going to have the chance to save him like he didn't have the chance to save his father who was killed right in front of him. Jin is a man now, he's uh, the best fighter in Tsushima. When his father was killed, he was just a boy, he was scared. He wasn't going to be standing up to any warrior then, but it's a different story now. 
Enter Castle Shimira from the north. Alright, so. They won't be watching the cliff face. Some random bras fishing here. Yeah. What's up, bro? Cooler than last time. Be What's careful, up? ghost. The samurai are watching for you. Okay. I'll fucking kill the samurai too. I don't give a fuck. So kill all y'all bitches. Um how is this gonna work? Can I make that jump? I think I can. Oh, okay. Alright. We're making good progress here. The grappling hook is pretty damn satisfying in this game. <laughs> it's, it's simple, it's very basic, but if I attack the gods, using it feels nice. Prove I'm the monster they think I am. Oh, so you're gonna be a pacifist now? I swear I heard something. Coming. Oh shit. Nothing after all. Stop wasting my time. Okay. Sneak into Lord Shimura's quarters. Quarters! Alright, well. Sneaking. Sneaking. What was that? Ooh, that was close! That was close! I'm being sloppy! Oh, well, well, leave him in the dust. Don't you worry about him. Place is teeming with people. Oh fuck. Hmm. Maybe I do need to go this way. I think I may have to. Oh my god! He's here. He just fucking. It's like the game birthed him right in front of me. It's like, bam, there he is, okay. <laughs> Guy came out of fucking nowhere. That fucker came out of nowhere. I'm gonna do all that over again, aren't I? Where in the Fiznock am I? Uh, if you've watched any of my Let's Plays, you know I've said it just countless times I hate stealth missions stealth games are not my thing they are not my thing I like to slaughter and that's that okay I have no interest in these forced stealth missions so I try to get them over as soon as possible but my impetuousness gets me in trouble and forces me to end up doing the missions two three four times so I try to rush through it which obviously is a recipe for disaster Get down! Get down! Wow. Are you kidding? Fuck me in the butthole. This is fucking garbage. Well, the game just fucked me there because Jin refused to jump down. What? Where am I? I just want to get this over with. I hate stealth missions. Heard something that way. Uh, I heard something that way. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I thought he could shoot the grappling hook out. Nope, guess not. The game says, no, you must do it this specific way. We will give you no freedom. Okay, great. This is really, really, really tedious. I'm not gonna lie. This is like my fourth try. Now, that, and they keep... Wait for the god to finish checking they, it. They keep spawning me in the most random spot after I die. I don't know where the fuck I am. What is this crap? Why are you spawning me here? Alright, so it looks like this is the right way. Finally, I know where I'm going. Okay, I'm stuck on a pole. Okay. That was interesting. Oh, shit. Jin is a certified ninja. No doubt about it. Okay, well, this looks right. Fuck it. Let's try it. It was right. Um, problem is. All right, everything's in order. You can go. What? 
Am I stuck here? Like, what are we doing here? Oh, there we go. Uh, you got. Whoa, that was almost certain death. Yeah, your mom. Your mom. Whoa! Now <laughs> she's a bloated corpse. Okay. Oh, look what we got here. Uh, I guess I have no choice but to go in here, huh? I've been in here before. This looks very familiar. Ooh! Let's go upstairs. Um, definitely been in here before. I can hear my uncle. I'm gonna guess that I gotta jump down here. Right here? I don't fucking know. Whatever, let's go this way. This looks right. Oh, this is hairy. There's a shit ton of bras here. Throw a firecracker in the corner? Shall we? Hey! Yeah, go get it, guys. Go check it out. Come on, stop lagging. There you go. There you go. There's a lot of them over there, huh? I mean, there's a lot of them. Right, run, 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 run. Oh, boy. Into the weeds. Into the weeds. What's that? Thank you. Okay. What's that? Where the fuck did he come from? Fuck you. Really? There was a guy in the weeds. Okay. Okay. If there's, if there's much more to this, here we go, they just spawn me in another random ass spot, I have no idea where I am. If there's much more to this particular mission, stealth wise, I'm gonna go throw myself in front of fucking traffic. I can't stand this bullshit. It is so incredibly tedious. Can I, what am I stuck on? Holy fucking glitch, Batman. I don't know how I didn't get seen there. That was pretty interesting. Get in the weeds. Make sure nobody's gonna pop up from the weeds again. I don't see anyone in the weeds. So we need to climb up that ladder and get in that window. Okay. At least we know where we're supposed to go now. Jump down, Jin. Alright, go. Uncle, you can't know I'm here. I thought the whole point was to go talk to Uncle. We should have delivered that speech together. Damn you, Jin. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Um. Um. Journal. Contact Lord Shamira to coordinate your attack. Okay. It says I'm supposed to contact him. To sneak into his quarters. His quarters! How goddamn high is this structure for the love of Pearl? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, so I've gone too far now? Can we go down here? What's fucking down here? Am I in the right area? Okay, so I, I, okay. So this is just some sort of like dead end storage room or something? What, what the fuck is it? Oh wait, it's a stair. Okay, so I didn't see that. Or a ladder. Um. Leave the message where he can see it. I did all of that so I could hand deliver my own message. Aren't there like official channels somebody could deliver at one of his generals or something? God, what is this? Oh, 
He's here! Guards! Uncle, forgive me for not facing you in person. The Khan's fleet has gathered at Port Izumi. His ships are loaded with poison that will devastate the Shogun's army. But when the next storm arrives, I plan to kill the Khan and sink his fleet. I ask that you join me. I hope we can meet again. If not as father and son, then as warriors who have walked different paths. Whatever you believe I've become, I will always be your family. Nice touch, Jim. Nice touch. I'm ready. I'm so ready to slaughter the Khan. The groundwork has been set. The stage is ready. Map. Here it is. It is now time, I believe, to attack the Khan. Mercifully. God, thank God that stealth mission's over. God. Uh, I just have no patience for that shit. That's gonna require some editing. <laughs> I, got saw, I, I got spotted, like, at least four or five times there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, another present. Thanks. You shouldn't have. Thanks. Okay. It's a mask with a huge, fake-ass mustache. That is pretty sweet. Ron Burgundy would be proud, certainly. Um, okay, we need to go down this way. I assume we need to talk to Yuna, right? Right? Yuna! All right, get, all right, pony, get, get out of the way, would ya? There she is. She looks cold. Maybe I could spoon her. What took you so long? <laughs> Let's do it, okay? Mm hmm You had us worried. I thought you'd been caught. Delivering my message wasn't easy. Did your uncle read it? Will he help us defeat the Khan? Don't know yet. I hope so. Hopefully he shows up. But we can't wait to find out. The wind's getting stronger. The storm will be here by morning. Do you secure the siege weapons? Enough to cause plenty of damage. Also found some deserters from your uncle's army who want to follow the ghost. We're ready. Okay. Tell the others we attack at dawn. I'll spread the word, but you should check on them. They want to hear from their leader. Sweet. Time for some motivational pep talks. Speak with your allies. Purely optional. Uh, do I want to do this? Not really. Pep talk complete. Got some Ru Ra going on. We're all ready to go. Let's do this. Here's my girlfriend. Here she is, baby. Yeah, yeah. Hey, baby. Maybe one last mm -mm before we uh, fight. Could be our last time. Long way since you pulled me off Komodo Beach. Let's do it. You were so heavy, I could barely drag you. Oh. Had to strip you half naked just to reach town. Oh. I wouldn't be here without you. Just yeah. tell her you love her for the love of Pearl. Do it. I can't lose you, Jin. After everything we've been through, everyone we've lost. Kiss her. I can't. Kiss her. I have to stop the con. No, you don't. We do. We could find a boat, sail somewhere quiet, while your uncle fights his samurai war. Oh, she wants to run you away. You really want that? No. If I fall, promise me you'll keep fighting. You're a real bastard, Jin Sakai. <laughs> you should get some rest. Not yet. Let's sit. Just
just a little longer. All right. It's a pretty good build up to the finale, though, given that. It's taking me about 50 hours to get to this point <laughs> this game. Uh, I like it, but good lord, it is a long game if you do the side missions. And I did, um, I'd say I did 90 plus percent of them. I did all of them in Act 1 and Act 2. All of them. In Act 3, I've sort of gotten a little fatigued. So I've done most of them, but not all of them. I am just I'm ready, to, ready to kill the Khan. You have one chance to take down the Khan before your attacks on mainland. Kenji, what's the status of our siege weapons? Ready to rain fire on the Mongol fleet. Good. Yuna know will signal your attack. Once the volley begins, the Mongols will charge your position and run right into our ambush. The explosives are set up. Archers on the rooftops. We're with you, Sakai. Thank you. All of you. Go. Jin, there's no sign of your uncle. That storm's not waiting. And neither are we. Get ready to fire the signal arrow. All right. Now! The Mongols are coming. We'll cut down anyone who gets through. Take position in the fishing village. Okay. Position taken. Holy shit, that's a lot. This wow. Is for my son. They just got to oh. back, Masako. Don't let them get behind us. Take the fight to them. Forward. I couldn't tell who the enemies are here. Oh, I'm stuck. Kill this leader. Kill him. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's hard to kill. Massacre was a beast. Ah. ah, this guy. He's dead. Who's left? Left, where are they? Whoa, where did you come from? Really? And sit down. Revive, revive. You want some? I took care of him. Ah! 
Come on, bud. this no no J jump down down <laughs> down what the fuck this is the kind of shit i talk about in this game sometimes animations are glitchy as fuck sometimes all right well that was pretty intense i like that i want more of that okay what's next our plan worked the mongols are regrouping we won't give them a chance norio is leading the rest of our forces up the hill then we'll join him and press the attack. The problem I have is in the chaos of all the carnage, the camera angle is kind of like all over the place. You're controlling it, but there's enemies all around you. And then those spearmen, they just come from nowhere and they stab you on the back. That's the biggest problem. Travel with your allies to meet Norio. Okay. Oh, you're all safe. This is where it ends. Today, the Khan dies. Uh, okay. Lord Shimura isn't here. We fight alone. We'll show up. We'll lead I an attack on the it. main gate. Distract the Mongols while you find a way inside. You'll be overwhelmed. We came this far. We're not turning back now. You can't die. You are all the bravest warriors I've ever known. I hope to see you again. Leave the battle to us. What are we waiting for? No mercy for the Mongols! Fight! Fight for Lord Sakai! Infiltrate Port Izumi. Alright, I don't what am I supposed to do here? Oh, this way, okay. Sometimes I just space out during those cutscenes and I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Ah! You're dead. We need to get to the rooftop. Look over the camp. Figure out how to find the con. Ooh, there's a lot of baddies right there. Get on the rooftop. Man, there's a lot of ice, huh? Wow, Jin's balance is just impeccable. Want some? Some kunai, some various supplies. That watchtower is perfect. You can see the whole camp from there. Alright, cool. Kill beans. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> You're dead. Show up. He's gonna die. I'm telling you right now. He's gonna die before no! Jin's gonna save him at the last second. Now. It's time. I just have to reach the manor house. It's time to start slaughtering. What is this guy even doing? We're un they're under siege and he's just playing with himself. <laughs> You're dead. What's in here? Anything? Why am I wasting my time? 
charge. That guy just got absolutely slaughtered. That's how you do it right there. You're dead. No mercy for these traitors. Explosive? What do you think? Sounds good to me. Yeah. You guys are tough. Okay, we still have lots of archers over here. Can we get inside, please? Thank you. Oh, God. Look up. They're just running here. Oh, what? Ooh, where? Not, whoa! Ah, I don't know. What, what, what just happened? How did I get surrounded? This is bad. Alright, we need to retreat here. Oh, something. Like, I just got surrounded all of a sudden. Come on, come on. Come on. Here, I'm not gonna lie. There's so much action going on. Whoa! You coward! Look at this. Charge! There he is. This could be the end, ladies and gentlemen. Pucker up that butthole, strap your seatbelt in. Here we go. He's gonna kick my ass, I have a feeling. Mind you, this is on hard. All this death. Because you. And your uncle would not surrender. I offered you peace, and you chose war. Now, the people of your mainland will suffer. Let's do this. You will never leave this island. What is that? Go. Man, he's got a long ass weapon. He's gonna have some serious reach. I will avenge the people of Tsushima. Vengeance? It's a petty life of a child. What? You will 
never leave Tsushima! You like that? He goes in these serious combos. I'm quicker than him, though. Right up in my corner. Oh, wow. Oh, we are just duking it out now. Oh, shit. I'm losing my composure a little bit. There it is. Not dead yet. No, he's not. Oh, he's dirty. He's dirty. He's having his minions take over. What a coward. Suck on that. I can't believe he ran. What a bitch. Whoa! Fight this, all of his minions. I am. You know what time it is, don't you? Because they're all, they're like quadruple teaming me here. Alright. I need to heal. I need to heal again. So many of them. Pick up the ammo. 
we go. Uh, get up there, get up there. You like that, Kotokan? Taking some serious. Oh my god, more? Holy shit, I mean.
ready? I mean, I just owned him. Like, how is he still alive? I guess my prediction didn't come true. I thought Lord Shimura would be in trouble and Jin would save him, or he would die, but that wasn't the case at all. He had very little role to play in this final assault. Jin did pretty much everything. She thinks he's dead. He's not dead. He's fine. He killed about 400 men by himself. He's a little tired, but he's fine. This is yours. Retire it. Here comes Lord Shimura, you know it. Come on, where is he? That was a pretty awesome finale. I feel like the challenge was just right, too. Not too hard, not too easy. Jogakwa Temple. Khan is dead, but his army is still here. Our home won't be safe until we drive them out to sea. And when they're gone, what happens then? We start new lives. I used to know what my new life would be. Now I'm not even sure who I am. You're a great warrior, a loyal friend. And a thief. That's the past. What you become tomorrow is your choice. That's a good point. Hope she's ready to spit out some babies, my babies. <laughs> we can't stay here long. My uncle will come looking for us. No, he won't. After the battle, he sent a messenger. Did he offer to make peace? He wants to meet you by the still waters under the red leafed tree. <laughs> Omi Lake. We used to spar there when I was a child. Want company? I need to face him alone. He's my only family. I know. Just still hurts. Uh. Thinking about Taka. The smell of smoke in his hair. His quiet laugh. The hell he'd give me for drinking too much. My whole life. He was part of me. And, and now... I'm alone. No, you got Jen. You're not alone. You have me. A ghost. 
You belong to everyone. <laughs> Kill the Khan and stop the Mongol invasion. Check. <laughs> Journal updated. The tale of Lord Shimura. Right. Nope, that's been unlocked. Where? Oh, okay. This is where he wants to meet me. Let us go here, fast travel. And then this should be the final mission of what has been a great game. A long game, but a great game that I never really had particularly high expectations for. I knew it was going to be good. It's a Sony first party game. It's Sucker Punch. They have a solid history. But I, I'm not really much of a fan for open world games. Um, so I just I didn't put a whole lot of personal... Em emphasis or attention on this game um, and so I think I to say I've been pleasantly surprised would be an understatement it's a good it's a great game it's a great game I would probably give it let's see where we going I'd probably give this a 9 out of 10 uh, that would be my score for this game some little nitpicky things but also some major great things like look at look at the graphics in this game the environmental graphics are absolutely astonishing. So, A plus for that. Having it set in a different sort of environment and atmosphere and culture, Eastern culture, with a different type of protagonist, uh, A plus for that, something different. Jin is a very uh, well thought out and likable protagonist, so A for that. The dialogue, the characters, the ancillary characters are all very likable, the dialogue is interesting, the voice acting was very good. Production values are great across the board. No complaints there. Are these Mongols here? Really? There's still more Mongols left? Like, how are they not all retreat at this point? You wanna fucking play? Oh, these guys came to play, huh? I'm still having to kill more of these bitches. But yeah, the negatives of the game. Towards the end, I think I got a little bit fatigued. There's so much to do. That's not necessarily a negative. It's a good thing for the developers to put a lot of side missions in. But I wasn't always really vested in some of the side missions. Uh, I wasn't always really vested in finding all the shrines. And I also feel like my character was upgraded way too soon. I did all of the side missions in Act 1. And I'd say by two-thirds of the way through Act 2, which is like 50-55% through the game, I was fully upgraded. So that was too soon. Resources weren't scarce enough. Um, and then animations at times could be a little bit clunky and off. Uh, but other than that, uh, really not much to complain about. I'll wait for him on the dock. You better not pull anything tricky. Like, try to come and arrest me or subdue me or something for the Shogun. <laughs> I like how I'm just covered in blood splatter. I just ruthlessly murdered like six Mongols, and I'm just gonna chill with the flute. <laughs> There were some weird glitches in this game, too. Sometimes I'd lose control of my uh, controller, and I would, my character would just run in 360s. That was weird. But they were pretty Jin. few and far between. Uncle. Oh, he changed. Jin, you look nice in your black robe. I wasn't sure you would come. I wanted to talk with you. If 
we work together, we can drive off the remaining Mongols. Start rebuilding our home. That is not your duty. The Shogun has disbanded Clan Sakai. As of today, you are no longer samurai. <laughs> I sacrificed everything for my people. And I would do it again. New samurai are coming to replace those we lost. They will occupy your land and estate. Oh, that's how he gets repaid. I have to say goodbye to my home. Wow. The Japanese aren't rigid at all. Ride with me. <laughs> oh, he saves them all, kills the Khan, bails them all out, and then they strip him of his title and take his family estate. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Way to have an open mind. These uh, 13th century Japanese leadership weren't known for their progressivism and flexibility. <laughs> then again, I don't know many people that were back then. Yes. The Shogun asked me to train his warriors to fight the Mongols. Good. They won't give up until they've conquered all of Japan. I will spend what years I have left I mean, in Look at this fate. game, though. Like, the, the lighting, we would face the foliage, the day-night cycle. It's such a beautiful game. You can still remarry, start a new family. Yes, I suppose I can. He's like 65 years old. Bra's gonna need Viagra. Looks like he could use a push. Here, let us help you. Do not trouble yourselves, my lord. Nonsense. You can't do it alone. You are much too kind. The mud is sicker than it looks. That's a heavy load. Where are you headed? Jogaku. The ghost army is up there. He has an army. You didn't hear? They'll sail for the Mongol steppes with a storm at their back. Burn their homes to the ground. An impressive goal. This is everything I can offer them. I hope it helps. Then we will see you on your way. Thank you, my lord. Jogaku is many miles from here. Keep away from the mud and the Mongols. I will. I have no idea what he's talking about. Not here. Follow me. I don't have an army. Every day, more people flock to your cause. The Shogun is concerned. I am concerned. You have nothing to fear. When the new clans arrive, will people bow to their samurai? Or betray them in the name of the ghost? I won't let them do that. They'll listen you to me. You openly defied me, Jin. My most trusted warrior. You taught our people to disobey their leaders. What makes you think your followers will obey you? Because I saved them all? <laughs> That's enough riding. Walk with me, Jin. As you wish. Game is so gorgeous. My family cemetery. The resting place of seven generations of Sakai, including your mother and my father. We must pay our respects.
course something bad's gonna happen. Why do I get that feeling? Uh, no, no, I can't. I will miss this. Hmm. So will I. The Shogun has declared you a traitor. Oh my god. Are you serious? He ordered you to kill me. The ghost was an outlaw. He taught our people to defy their leaders. To defend themselves. With poison. A gift you gave to our enemy. I had to stop you from throwing away our people's lives. You have no honor. And you are a slave to it. You want to fight me? Really? You're gonna take it there? You are my son. Now I must continue the line of Shimura without you. I must start a new family. And my head is the cost. Taking it is my punishment. Really? Time for what? Write the last words of Clan Sakai and Clan Shimura. Sony First Party Studios, I sure know how to write a script and make an interactive movie, don't they? They just do. Their storytelling, their single player games, and their narratives, they're world class. They just, they are. Microsoft has, has just nothing like it. fighting without hope. This is where we part. It is what it is. I'll go find Yuna and stop my own family. Destiny divides our souls. They did a really good job bringing the game full circle. With the beginning scene when a young Jin is sparring with his uncle, and here it ends in the same location, under this red tree. Your parents will always be with you. Yes, uncle. I will train you to become the strongest warrior Clan Sakai has ever known. I will raise you as my own son. Are you ready? I am ready. Are we gonna fight? Like, uh, does my uncle have to honor the Shogun's wishes?
Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Where it's gonna end. We're not gonna know what. It oh my god! I, don't want I have to, hurt to fight you. him. The wounds you dealt to my spirit may never heal. Killing me will only make them worse. Let me go in peace. Oh, I just got fucked. <laughs> oh my god, son of a biscuit. Oh. Okay. Wow. No choice. Wow. Um. Are you fucking kidding me? I love how he, he's, he's literally back by the wall over here, and then he lunges like 35 yards across this fucking hole. Are you fucking kidding? See? Once again. Turn away from me. God. Oh my god. Forgive me, Jean. I gotta say, this end boss on hard difficulty, this is my 6th or 7th try, I've edited all the other ones out. This is probably the hardest end boss I've fought since an end boss in Demon Souls. This is ridiculous how difficult this guy is. They give you Let no resolve. Everything he swings at you is unblockable. See? I mean, really? Wounds you dealt to my spirit. We you have to have like cat like Killing reflexes. Will only make them worse. I don't want to hurt you. You want revenge. Oh, my failure. Come on, you this bitch. This is not my revenge. It is my. Oh, come on. Two hits and I have no health. Resolve. Oh my god, we both have no help. That's it! Fuck you, bitch. That was my seventh try. Did it. Fucking bitch, stay down. Really? Really? He's dead. I can't believe you made me kill him. What a coward. Honor me with a warrior's death. No. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I feel like if I don't kill him, he's going to keep coming back after me. The Shogun is going to keep forcing him to come after me. You've dishonored yourself. I will make sure you are remembered. As a great warrior. A wise leader. And a father. Wow. 
Um, is there any way I can take back my decision to kill him? <laughs> but you know what? His attempts to kill me justify my killing him in the end because, like I said, he's just going to keep coming back. The Shogun's going to keep sending him after me. It has to end. Thank you, my son. This is so fucked up. Find me in the next life. I will. That's some fucked up shit. Here to my eye. <laughs> That's really fucked up. Trophy mono no aware. Rare, but not all that rare. Forty one point eight percent. Wow. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. Wow. That ending left me a little speechless there. I really didn't think that Lord Shimura was going to follow through and try to kill me. I really thought that he would tell me to run, to go hide somewhere. Oh no. He's so rigid in his faith and devotion to the Shogun, which was his downfall really, that he decided he was going to try to kill me. He was going to literally kill me. His only son, really. And so I was left with little choice but to defend myself. And literally took me seven or eight tries to kill him. That was a hard boss battle. A boss battle, especially on hard difficulty. That was, that was very difficult. Um, I'm going to look back at that in post when I put all this together in DaVinci Resolve Editor. I'm going to watch those fights again because I got my ass kicked repeatedly. Maybe I'll try to get creative with how I, I show it on this last episode for Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe I'll show some of my deaths. Um, but, yeah, so Jin followed through, defended himself, fought him off, and then you're given an interesting choice at the end of the game. Do you want to spare Lord Shimura and walk away? Or do you want to give him what he requests, and that's an honorable death? So, I decided that if I didn't give him an honorable death, he would feel disgraced, and he would probably still be a slave to the Shogun, he would probably still try to track me down, I'd never be able to live in peace, then again, the Shogun will send somebody else to track me down anyway, right? Um, but I figured that, I guess it was the best thing to do, he tried to kill me, so I'm gonna finish him off, and I'm gonna do it in the way he requests honorably. So that's what I did. Um, but it gives you a little bit of just a touch of replayability uh, if you want to try to play the game again for a second go around then you can try with the different ending to see how that changes the course of events either way a sucker punch does a great job of leaving this game the conclusion of this game open to a sequel there's no doubt about that uh, you now have Jin Sakai his land has been disbanded he's been stripped of his title he's killed the only family he's ever had where does he go from here um, the Shogun presumably still going to be after him, but at the same time, uh, Jin has a huge following amongst the Japanese people. He essentially liberated them. He did what it, what had to be done, what, what leadership wouldn't do. He did it. And so many people have his back. And so how is that going to play out in what I feel like is an inevitable sequel on the PlayStation 5? And I just got to say that that sequel on the PlayStation 5 is going to look absolutely phenomenal. This game was easily one of the best looking games of the generation. Um, the environmental detail, the environmental graphics were so good. So this was, this was a wonderful experience. This was a great way. This and The Last of Us Part 2 
Those two exclusives were a great way for Sony to send off this generation, a generation that they have absolutely dominated in every respect. I think at this point we're somewhere around 115 to 116 million PlayStation 4s sold and we're somewhere around 45 million Xbox Ones. So the PlayStation absolutely dominated and if a game like this goes to show anything it's that single player games, narrative driven games, they are not dead. They are here to stay and they are essentially what won this generation for Sony and the PlayStation 4. That and the fact that over these last couple of decades, PlayStation 2, 3, PlayStation 1 even back in the 90s, Sony has done a great job building up their exclusive studios, building up their first party studios, um, and they you really see uh, the dividends pay off here with games like this. It, these first party studios and the talent that they have and the ability uh, and storytelling that they have coupled with Sony as the publisher, it's unrivaled in the gaming industry right now. Whether you look at any games on PC or any games on Xbox, maybe you could say Zelda on Nintendo Switch, uh, the newest Zelda, I guess. I haven't played that game, so I don't know. But in terms of mature thematic element, um, single player narratives geared towards, I'd say, adults, with mature themes, nobody even comes close to challenging Sony, in my opinion. So, that's going to do it for this game and this Let's Play. What a great game. I'm so glad I played this game. I, I really wasn't sure I was going to play this game because, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of open world games, but this game was great. It was a great game with a great, really a great, shocking ending. I didn't really expect that. So, kudos to Sucker Punch, uh, and I look forward to the inevitable sequel. So, anyway, uh, if you guys have played this game, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. How do you feel about this game? How do you feel about this game being the send-off for the enormously successful PlayStation 4 this generation? And what are your thoughts on the PlayStation 5? Are you going to get the PlayStation 5? Heck, maybe you're going to get a 3090 RTX instead. <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed this video, if you have enjoyed this commentary, I really would appreciate if you would give me a subscribe and a like, and we will see you guys soon for the next Let's Play. Until then, take care. We'll see you soon. Later.